change in living things growth hello students you have learned about the living things and non-living things and one thing is common to both they do not always remain the same way for many years things change continually in one way or the other that is why people say change is constant in this lesson you will learn about the changes that happen to living things. Pictures showing changes in humans as a result of growth. Now students, have you observed what happens to a baby? When a baby is born, the mother supplies food or breast milk to the baby for him or her to survive. As the child is fed, he or she grows such that all parts of his or her body, legs, arms, head, etc., begins to increase in size. As the child is increasing in size and different body features become more pronounced, other changes begin to take place, leading to overall physical development of the baby. You therefore say that the baby is growing. What is growth? Growth is defined as the increase in size of an organism or baby due to increase in number of cells. Some of the changes that are easily noticeable in a healthy baby some weeks or months after birth are increase in height, size, and weight. The baby experiences changes in body size and behavior. With time, he or she develops from infancy to childhood, to adolescence and then to adulthood. That is growth. Measurement of growth. Growth may be measured by increase in height and weight. Therefore, growth is a permanent change or increase in size. Now, students, compare yourself with your younger brothers or sisters. You may be bigger, heavier, and taller than them. Also, you are bigger, heavier, and taller now than you were five years ago. The changes you have observed are growth changes. In other words, growth changes in human beings include changes in height, weight and body size. These growth changes can be measured using simple instruments like the meter roll, tape roll and scales. Height. The changes in height can be observed when you measure your height over a period of time. You can measure your height with the meter roll. You can also use the tip to measure height. Fatness. The tip roll is used to measure how fat or lean a person is. It can measure the size of the chest, bust, waist, and hips. Weight. Weight refers to how heavy or light a person is. Weight or changes in weight can be measured with the scale balance. The unit is the kilogram, kg or gram, g. One kg equals 1,000 gram. The food we eat is very important in helping the body to produce new body cells that will add to the body size. Thank you.